Hello everyone, Dean Ellis here from DARTEC and welcome to our very first tutorial on Artisteer version 4. Uh, brand new playlist and I thought I'd go uh, into this one because I'm going to make a new template for my DARTEC tutorials website. And uh, I thought well why not just uh, make a tutorial on uh, how to use Artisteer as I build it. Um, if you've installed Artisteer, you've got it, um, you can open it up and you'll come up with a front screen like this. Okay, a new project. Now there's a number of templates you can use as you can see uh, down the list and these are all online templates that you can you can load up. And if you see something that catches your eye, um, let's have a look at it, something... Let's pick this one here. Okay, and you see it load up. Okay. And really, all you need to do from there is, if you like that as it is, um, all you need to do is just hit export, um, and you'll see a number of uh, options to export it as. And if we're making we're making Joomla templates, so we just export it as a Joomla template. Okay. Select um, two, three point two, and three point three. The positions I like to use um, position one, position two arrangements rather than left, right, and the rest of it. Uh, it just name it as the uh, the uh, file name you wish um, and the location you wish to save it. Okay, the uh, the check buttons here. Um, zip archive is you, you're making a zip file. Now the zip file you need to install the template into Joomla. The ARTX project is the Artistia file that you're creating. So I include that in there as well, just so I have it on the website if I need it. And if you want to include the content, it means you'll include all the writing and the bits and pieces in here. Now, Artist here can actually make a, a static um, static page for you, if you like, um, uh, before you actually start loading up your uh, data through, your, through your, your, your content management system. I tend not to, I tend not to worry about it. I'd rather run everything through a content management system, so I don't I don't usually include the content. Uh, so I'll export, and you'll get a, uh, a a a message saying that your export has been successfully completed. Once you've done that, you can open up your uh, Joomla administration end, uh, go extensions, extension manager. Um, upload package from file, choose file, browse to your zip file that you made, there it is there, upload and install. Okay once it's finished uploading and uh, it's uh, successful all we need to do now is go into our template manager and select the uh, template we just loaded as the default and in a matter of minutes you have just changed the entire look and feel of your website okay it's that easy all right so that's how powerful artistier is but that's not all artistier can do so uh, let's go back into artistier and we'll have a play with the other features that uh, artistier can do for us okay First off, if um, you just can't find a template and you want a random pick, you click on the button at the Home tab called Suggested Design. If you click on that, Artistier will randomly build a design for you with the right colour scheme uh, and all the rest of it. All right, don't like that? Let's click it again. Okay, there's another one. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, but still a bit icky for me, so let's try it again. Okay, this one looks pretty good. A um, little bit narrow, but we can fix that. So, say we like that design, but we're not too sure about the colour. So, let's go to the Suggested Colours tab. So, if you want to change, you like the design, the layout of it, um, and you're not quite sure of the colour scheme, just click on Suggested Colours. Design stays the same, but your colour scheme um, changes. Uh, that's not too bad. Let's try again. And you can do this forever in a day, it'll just keep randomizing the, um, the color scheme for you. It does match the colors using a, uh, the right, the, the, um, the color wheel arrangements. Alright, that, that one doesn't look too bad. 
Okay, so we're happy with that colour. Now we think, oh, the font's a little bit dodgy, so let's um, let's have a look at the font. So we go suggest fonts. Yep. Okay, I like I like this the Sans uh, type font, so we'll stick with that. And let's have a look at the suggested layout. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That doesn't look too bad at all. Okay, so um, let's try another one. Just not sure about the. Uh, the width arrangement there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that's so now we from from a click of four buttons, we've um, we're, we're coming pretty close to what I like to be a decent website. Now you've got suggested background, suggested header, uh, suggested images, and it'll actually change all the um, the different components of this article in Joomla to something you like. So feel free to you can just click on those four completely to build a template. It's that easy. Okay. Um, you can have different styles to, to select from. Uh, you can create a new page if you want in here and create complete uh, static pages for your website uh, as well. Okay. Um, so there's a whole heap of things to do really, really easy without even going into the finer details of uh, Artistier to completely build your website. Okay, so have a play around with the home tab. It's got all the suggested colors and all the bits and pieces in there uh, and get used to what they're doing there. Um, and you can come in here and actually change the type as well. Okay, um, you can pretty much build a static web page using Artistia um, just, uh, just through Artistia itself and then you can upload it into Joomla and have a static web page doesn't do much and it's sort of really limiting the power of Joomla but um, you can be done uh, if you want to uh, okay but we're better than that we'll uh, we'll actually do a bit more all right so I'll call that uh, tutorial number one uh, we've gone so far I'll save this uh, this particular template and we'll come back to it and tweak it a little bit through the rest of the uh, the tabs okay thanks for uh, watching hope you um, learnt the first little bit out of artist here. Uh, if you like this tutorial hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get more uh, video tutorials on all things Joomla. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.